Hey Faith World, thank you so much for tuning into The Voice of Faith. As you hear this message, we want to build up your faith and build up your hope in the Word of God. Check out this message from Pastor Lisa. Hi everyone, it's so good to be with you tonight on our Voice of Faith uh, broadcast. You know, we just enjoy this time together when we can get around the Word of God. And I tell you, we need the guidance, the special guidance that the Word of God gives us. And I'm just so thankful that uh, the Word is simple, it's clear, it's easy to be understood. I mean, we have the power of the Holy Spirit working right now in your heart and in mine just to understand these truths so that we can walk in them, respond right, you know, to situations. And we're going to be talking a little bit about prayer in these uh, episodes for a few nights, I just really sensed in my heart that uh, prayer is just something that we as believers, we need to be doing. You know, God didn't fill us up with His Word and fill us with the Holy Ghost to sit back and do nothing. You know, I'm like you, I look around and I see things happening in the world and I see things happening in people's lives. And I think sometimes we can get overwhelmed with that. We think, you know, well, what can we do? What can we do to make a difference? You know, we're not in a position to make decisions for people or decisions in the nation or around the world. But, you know, we have a response in us. We have a responsibility even to pray to God and to lift these things to the Lord in prayer. And I want you to know that prayer, I've just been studying some things and it's really been ministering to me how sufficient prayer is. Prayer is the right response and prayer is sufficient. And we need to go in boldly with confidence when we come to God with these things and when we come to God with these needs, we need to have confidence that God responds to us, that God hears our prayer and He moves and we're cooperating with the Holy Spirit here in the earth over people's lives, over even nations, things that we're seeing globally right now. The church needs to stand up and take her place in prayer. Let me just read some verses to you. I love, um, I love Luke 10, 19. This is, this is the authority that we have in prayer. It says, Behold, I give unto you power. That word power means authority to tread on serpents and scorpions. And look at this, and over all the power of the enemy. Do you know that in prayer, you have authority over the enemy's work? We need to be binding the enemy, binding his power. You know, when you see the devil at work in some person's life and they're being influenced by demonic spirits. I tell you, those spirits don't want to let go. Those spirits take hold for a reason. They want to destroy. You know, the devil is out to kill, steal, and destroy. That is his will. But Jesus said, I've come that you might have abundant life. And and you look at a person and you see their life going down the wrong path or down the wrong direction and you see that the enemy's out to destroy them. Well, you know, the good news is, is that as a believer, you have been given authority over the works of the devil. You've been given authority over those demonic spirits that influence them to do the things that they're doing, that influence them to go down that path that is destroying them. And so we need to rise up and, and take authority over the enemy and bind his power in that person's life. Let me give you another scripture, and it's found over in Philippians chapter 1 and verse 19. I love this scripture. This is one of my favorites. It says, For I know that this shall turn to my salvation. Let me tell you, when you go to praying over a person, over a situation, uh, in someone else's life, or maybe even in your own, you expect that situation to turn to the better. We need to quit expecting things to get worse. That's not faith. 
When we go to God in prayer, we're going with the intention that we're going to do business in the Spirit. We're going to do business with, with God. We're going to do some business with the authority that we've been given in His name. And we expect things to turn to the better. Hallelujah. That's what Paul said. He goes, this is going to turn to my salvation. How? Through your prayer and the supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ. In this verse, you can see the cooperation between the Holy Spirit and the church. The cooperation between the Holy Spirit and you as the believer. Hallelujah. You work together in the realm of prayer. You pray and you use your authority. You use that God-given ability that we have as, as Christians, as children of God, to ask the Father, hallelujah. And the Holy Spirit comes along with His supply. He adds His supply to the situation. And what happens? It begins to turn, hallelujah. The turning place is when we begin to pray. And so I want to encourage you that powerful things will happen when you pray. Powerful things will change when you take the time to get on your knees, and to get before God, and to lift up things, and to lift up needs, and lift up situations to God, and begin to exercise your authority in Jesus' name in that situation. I'm telling you, it's powerful. It's time for the church to rise up and pray the powerful prayers that we can through the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, it has been a blessing just to share this truth with you. If you can't tell, I'm stirred up about it. I'm stirred up on it. Hallelujah. Because I believe that the church, I'm telling you, this is our finest hour. We are here for such a time as this. We see things happening globally right now. We see, uh, you know, prophecy coming to pass right now in our lifetime. And we are here with this powerful place in God. We're here with this powerful authority in Jesus' name to make a difference and allow God's will to be done in the earth today. So I'm excited about it. I pray that you are too and that you're hungry to grow. Keep tuning in every night. Invite somebody to join in because we're going to be talking about these things, talking about praying the Word, talking about um, just the confidence that we can have in our prayer life. It's going to be really, really good. So tune in with us every night on the Voice of Faith broadcast. We love you. God's more than enough in your life. Don't forget that. And we'll see you next time. God bless you. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode of The Voice of Faith. We believe that God is going to do some amazing things in your life. And before you go, we always want to give you an opportunity to give so that you can be blessed. The different ways that you can give are on the screen. Also, if you need prayer, we would love to pray with you. Just email, message, or call the church. Thank you so much for watching today and have a blessed week.